uh, today we're out at the farm, so we decided to go ahead and get some power into this shed. This is where we store the uh, tractor and the ATVs and things of that sort. Uh, we're, um, we need to get power into it, so we hooked up uh, my old uh, Harbor Freight solar system. Three panels or whatever. I can't tell you how many kilowatts was this. This was one of my original system that I had. Has three panels. So we're putting it here on the outside. We're staking it down. We screwed it down to this uh, board, uh, big uh, four by six to hold it. We're putting some stakes down to hold the four by six down uh, because we don't want the wind to come pick it up. Inevitably, we're going to end up mounting these panels up here over the door. Uh, kind of big blank spot. And it also, uh, this side faces the sun. So we get all day sun all the way across this. Yeah, we're getting sun right now. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, really it's kind of a temporary hookup. But anyway, what we did on it is, um, <laughs> so the uh, solar panels come in. I got the solar panels running up to this little controller that comes with, comes up to the connector, which comes up. And it goes into this, to the, uh, the uh, controller uh, it has two lights plugged into it they have switches right here for the light bulbs and those we just uh, ran them over to the uh, just ran them over to the joist and they're hanging there on the joist there, it comes oh, there they go and there's and, one over uh, here too so uh, it's not a whole lot of light but it's enough it's, but if it's nighttime out here it's enough so it'll get the job done also okay, well. connected to it, I have an old power inverter here, and this will ch and this goes up and it plugs into the cigarette lighter. This is an inverter just like you get for your car. It has USB hookups, so you can plug cell phones, da da da, whatever you want on that side. And this one has two plugs. And what we're going to really pull, plug into these is we, we're going to put a couple trickle chargers on this, run it over to the tractor so that the tractor battery stays uh, stays charged. Also the ATVs and things of that sort. So, uh, so this is our power inverter. It, in, it uh, converts it from 12 volt to 110. So it's 110, just like house power. Turn the power on on it. Outside controller tells it it's on. And there we go. I've got the battery charger plugged into it. So right now we're low on voltage. We got 11 volts. We don't have quite have 12 volts right now. Sun's going down. It's not. Uh, it's not full. Full. full mm -hmm. You know, nighttime. So, uh, so that's why it's even. That's why it's even. <laughs> we don't have full charge. Above the door here, we have my batteries, battery control, uh, battery center, uh, feed coming in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. And then up on top of the door here, I've got 16 7 amp hour. 12 volt batteries, they're all daisy chained. At my other place, it looked a whole lot cleaner, but you know what? We just hooked it up to use it. We just now hooked it up. Inside, as you can tell, you know, positive and negative, nothing to it. Easy peasy. So we just got the system installed. Like we said, the sun's going down now, so we don't have full, we don't have full sun. It's only pulling about 11.9 volts. So if it doesn't have 12 volts, it's limited on what it'll run. Like it won't run the, run the, uh, run the inverter right now. Earlier in the day, uh, whenever we first got here, I hooked it up real quick and we plugged in. I had 14.5 or something like that volts coming through it. So earlier today we had plenty of power. So also uh, during the next few days, the panels will charge all of the batteries up top. And then that's uh, each battery is seven amp hours at 12 volts. So I've got 16 batteries up there. So do the math on that seven times 16. I'll tell you how many amp hours. So if you're pulling one amp, Six five nine different. Uh, it's mainly for just running uh, trickle chargers to keep things running in here. Uh, I doubt this this would be strong enough to run a skill saw. Mm -hmm. Might run a grinder or something. It might Full run power. a drill. Uh, you know, it's not really for that. But it's mainly for the lights, and you can yeah, plug yeah, a just, cell phone or something simple phones, in. Uh, yeah. Uh, or you can uh, put a light outside or something. Trickle charger, you know. too. <laughs> and there's not going to be electricity to this shed. Not to this shed. This It'll shed just be solar. Far, yeah. far from where the house is. I'm not going to bury a wire that far. But we could it's add another, a couple, another solar power panel if we wanted yeah, to. Yeah, to. Yeah. But this, this barn's... Mainly just for the yeah. lights. The only thing we'd ever run here might be is a, a twelve volt, a small twelve volt pump, like we have in the RV mm -hmm. that runs the water for the water pump. 
We're going to have a water catchment system on the back of this going to a tank and the, the, the uh, garden we think is going to be right beside us. So we might run that 12 volt pump to pump water up to the garden. We'll see. <laughs>